The first game in our showcase is Marvel's Spider-Man 2. Craven's hunters are in pursuit of Dr. Kurt Connors, aka the Lizard, and Spider-Man Peter Parker and Miles Morales need to lay the smack down and put him in the slammer. Buddy, I don't know how you come up with these, man. My God. Hey, it's those high school rap days, man. You're I've been writing mixtapes for years. <laughs> Dattip.com, baby. The game, man. Everyone's favorite neighborhood Spider-Man still doing well in both the gaming and movie department thanks to Across the Spider-Verse and wordplay about the Spider-Man 4 movie being in production. Right off the bat, we get a look at a symbiote affected Peter and the aggressive fighting style and Bully McGuire personality that Miles has to contend with. Insomniac has hinted at an original plot for the game's version of Venom, as well as to feature distinct storylines for both the perspectives of Peter and Miles. First impressions, the game looks dope on next-gen hardware, and guys, peep the design of the symbiote here. Rather than just having a basic latex skin, they actually added a little bit of details, a little bit of shine, a little bit of a uh, slimy slash wet texture to it to give it a more alien-like look rather than just having a reskin of a suit. Add that with, you know, tentacles to aid during his attacks, and you have a very lifelike looking symbiote living with the player model. In this case, it happens to be Peter Parker. Hey man, here's an inside scoop, man. Oh yeah. The voice actor? Yeah. Yuri Lowenthal. I don't know who that is. Clean work, man. Clean work in the studio. He's uh, he's Sasuke's voice actor. Oh, that's dope. Yeah. Yeah, that's why he sounds so cool, man. Insomniac Games pulling out all the stops for this one. Other notable things that I'm seeing, I'm really digging the new gameplay elements. The lighting seems slightly faster for traveling with miles, but you know, it's a good addition to the web swinging. Um, they could add fast travel for the lazy players like myself, but I'm sure most will use it once for a tutorial and swing and glide around the city for the rest of their playtime, which is very understandable. Um, the quick time events are on point as always. Both Peter and Miles have different UIs for their masks. The soundtrack and sound effects for this game are greatly improved in this demo. Um, you know, obviously one of my favorite features of the previous game was when the soundtracks would kick in whenever you were free swinging across the city and those Hans Zimmer type orchestra music would start playing in the background or the very chill trap beats would start playing when miles were coming to the picture man it, it's just an absolutely perfect soundtrack for this game and the best part about this game ladies and gentlemen there will be no cross gen this game is exclusively for the ps5 um for now anyway for now i'm pretty sure they're gonna have a pc port somewhere down the line because i know fans are gonna rush to buy this thing and the demand for this game to come on PC is going to be very, very high. We've waited years for this demo. Let's hope the full release is worth the wait. 